Hey everyone, I'm at uh, Universal Studios. I'm gonna be going to uh, Islands of Adventure today. Right now, I'm kind of in that little bay area uh, across from like the Hard Rock, or Hard Rock and the Chocolate Emporium over by the Jimmy Buffett stand. Supposedly, that plane is like legit real and has like bullet holes from one of his trips. Um, I've never really looked into it. If you're a Jimmy Buffett fan, you know, go up there, ask him. I'm pretty sure they can point to it. Like, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, look, look at the bullet hole. You know, it, it's stuff they love to brag about, which is cool. You know, more trivia, the better. Anyways, uh, the Velocicoaster has been having a lot of updates to it, and I want to see if I can catch any. Supposedly, they have like the Velociraptor costume characters roaming about, I heard a rumor of. Not 100% sure on that. I know there's supposed to be raptor statues that are going up, so we'll see if maybe that's what the person I was talking to was telling me about. Um, and just, just see the new paddock walls, because they took down a lot of the construction walls and like a lot of the lighting effects are being turned on. I saw some of it earlier this week when I was here with my mom. Uh, we wanted to do like our first trip together, you know, as of the year. Hopefully 2021 is a lot better than uh, 2020. I mean, we already got a new president. That was fun. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, up until the actual inauguration, everything that was happening, legitimate definition of a dumpster fire, but hopefully think things are on the upswing. So let's see what's going on. And if I find anything neat, I'll film it and we'll see it together. It looks like they still have the construction walls up for a point. And then once you get closer to the raptor paddock, they've come down some. There's the top hat and the tower. You know? And there we go, we start to see the actual walls holding in the attraction. Over here by the pizzeria. Which, yeah, they got okay pizza, or they did. I don't, I don't know how they're gonna be in the future. But we see paddock walls and a lot of youtubers have probably already covered this i got lucky ish saw them earlier in the week when i did the first trip with my mom but they've got it set up so that like paddock numbers and then the lights up there it's blue right now but they changed color here's the two they got the raptor encounter going off the river adventures line was actually modified when they moved the raptor encounter so that it would kind of wrap around the raptor encounter so people could see the raptors while they were waiting in line so that's probably going to be it's like final home but this is the new things God, that loop looks crazy. And you can see top hat's still over there. Safety nets. So that um, stuff won't get hit. The last time we were here over by the transition to Seuss Landing, you could hear very aggressive animal noises. It was unique. All right, let's see if, I, if they still got those going on. The area between Jurassic Park and Toon Lagoon, right by that... Well, um, <laughs> right between the two parks by the Frozen Stand or whatever, uh, is where I was hearing like the very aggressive dinosaur noise. Could have been raptors, only God knows what. But they're not playing right now. So that leads me to believe when we were here last time that they were doing, that they were doing tests which makes sense. Right now I'm kind of working, walking towards Marvel Superhero Island. I got here kind of late. Um, just wanted to, to jump out to the parks and kind of like mess around. But it's, it's been a, a fun day. Uh, the only thing I've done so far is higher grids, which is always great. Um, Mom and I were talking about, because she's stoked for the Velocicoaster too, about how like Universal is bragging about how the Velocicoaster won't have the same types of problems that Hagrid's did. And I'm like, yes, because they're, they're completely different beasts, like night and day. So like the Velocicoaster is going to be, from what it looks like, a very traditional coaster. 
and uh, I don't want to go in there. The music's way too loud right now. And what I mean by that, here, let's let's go behind this thing over here, is that um, it's going to be not as many show scenes. From from what I understand, from what I've read, there's two main show scenes: one at the beginning, one at the end. So they don't have to have as many safety checkpoints as Hagrid does. Hagrid has a lot of show scenes. And because of that, they have to put in safety checkpoints to stop cars in case things go wrong. You don't get that with the Velocicoaster. So because it's not as segmented, you're not going to have as many issues per se um, versus Hagrid's if something goes wrong. So most modern coasters now use what are called LIM or linear induction motors, which are basically just high powered electromagnets that take a part of the car and make it go zoom. They also make it stop because they're, you know, magnets. They, they can reverse pol polarity on themselves or the cars so that they can either speed it up or slow it down or do whatever. So because Hagrid's has so many show scenes, they have to put in those safety checkpoints, but the lots of customers don't have to do that. You're looking probably one at whatever launches you into the top hat, probably. Every time there's a big stunt that requires a buildup of speed, that's probably going to be an LIM. Uh, I mean, back in the day, it just used to be a motor and a spinning tire, but they don't do that anymore as much. They still use it for like loading in and out or small accelerations, but you, you don't see that as much nowadays. So because they're completely different beasts, of course, they're not going to have the same problems. So it, it's to me it, kind of funny that they do that. I guess it's their way of Universal's way of being like, oh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be OK, folks. When we launch this one, it's not going to be tits up uh, because that's how bad Hagrid's was. Like everyone was like wanting to ride it, but damn thing kept breaking down all the time. So hopefully with Velocicoaster, that's not going to happen. Um, people are saying when you're here, sometimes randomly you'll see cars running. So come on down, I guess. And, check it out some of the best places to view it from are like the mythos or the you rest area at the very beginning those are both pretty good i'll probably try to get shots from both of them but yeah i mean i hope soon they start testing and we get it released sooner rather than later it would be, it'd be nicer to get it sooner obviously yeah, we all kind of want to ride it but yeah let's, let's see if we can catch them running anything or any cool construction when i was over by the um I was over by the, the slushy area. I kind of took a peek behind the safety gate to see if I could see anything, and I couldn't. The only thing I could see was a lady guarding the gate on the other side, but she was just like not paying attention and her face down in a magazine. I was like, oh, poor lady. Because her whole job is to guard that gate. It's like, woof. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can do. I'm getting hungry. I'm probably going to get some food and uh, see what other rides are going on. Okay, so I started the day at Margaritaville. I figured I'd end the day at Margaritaville. Well, across from Margaritaville, if you will. Um, yeah, it was a great day. Uh, on the slow-mo footage, or the, the time-lapse footage, I should say, we did actually get to see them running the cars, which was neat. Up until I got the footage, they ran the cars two other times. So it looks like they're starting to do like hardcore testing, which is nice. Um, hopefully we'll get like test tests soon. Um, I went and had a, a little bit of a snack. I, I picked up a Cinnabon. Not from in the park, that one was closed. I had to come actually out to City Walk. And um, if you never had Cinnabon, just try it while you're here. It's delicious, it's carbs, man. It's, it's hard to, it, you can't go wrong with carbs unless you're on like a you know, low fat diet. In which case, why are you looking at snacks anyway? Stop it. But uh, yeah. The, the, the coaster's coming along, the theming looks fantastic. The, looking at how the rides moved was really cool. I like the fact how that giant loop for the top hat, you don't go upside down, it just it kind of twists you above it and then pushes you back down, which is pretty neat. Hopefully the time-lapse footage does it justice, but they're running the cars, 100%. Um, what else? Um, Spider-Man, they totally closed off the front again. Now you, you don't even go in through the front. You actually go in through the side area that I've taped in previous episodes, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, it looks like they're just refurbing a lot of rides, which needs to happen. Like Jurassic Park, they're totally cut off. You can't even look into the lagoon. That restaurant, you can't even get back to most of those side tables. Totally walled off. Um, but I mean, the rides need it. 
Like, they, they, they can only go so long before they need facelifts, replacements, stuff like that. But yeah, it was a fun day. Um, I can't wait for this roller coaster. It's gonna be so much fun. But anyways, I had a fun day. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. And I will see you in the next one.